A very warm welcome back to Maths Plus. Today we're continuing the 2022 Leave and Sort Order Level Paper 1. So let's have a quick look at the start of question 4. So first of all we need to do a substitution and put 5 into the cubic function g of x. In part 2 we need to differentiate the function. So just remember to do the differential technique for each term. And then the sec third part is the tangent line. So remember, we have to get the slope of the tangent. And in this case, we're given g dash of 5 is equal to 6. So that's going to help us solve it. So let's get started. So the first part is mainly a calculator question. And what it really is, is the input of 5 instead of x across the board. So g of 5 is equal to 5 cubed minus 7 by 5 squared plus 5 minus 12. So take your time and be careful with the sign. So we'll get a final result of negative 57. So let's go on to g dash of x. So remember how to differentiate. So maybe do it in two steps bring down the power first of all so we get in by x to the power of n minus one so let's do that for all the terms so g dash of x is equal to so the x cubed will become three x squared then minus seven x squared will become minus 14 x to the one or just x and plus x is plus one x and remember, if we have a number with the x, we'll just have the number remaining, so we have a plus 1. The minus 12 is a constant, therefore the differential will be 0. And that's g dash of x. Alright, on to part 3, and we're given some information about a tangent. So we have this slope here, so we need to recognize that g dash of the value of x we put that into the g dash formula we will get the slope so we have everything we need so far because we have the five um inputted into the equation and remember g of five will give the y1 value which is negative 57. so we have x1 m and y1 so let's put it all together into the line equation so we've got y minus one y1 is y minus 57 is equal to 6, which is our slope, by x minus 5. Let's multiply this out really quickly and check everything as we go. So y minus minus 57 is y plus 57. It looks fine. And then we have 6x. So let's distribute here. So we have 6 by x and 6 by negative 5, which is negative 30. All right, so let's bring everything to the one side. As you can see, the format of the tangent is ax plus by plus c is equal to zero. Therefore, we're going to justify everything to the left. So let's bring the six x over. So that plus six will become a negative six over here. And then the y is in the correct side. So that's a plus y. And let's bring over the negative 30 and we add it to the 57, so 57 plus 30, you've guessed it, that's 87. And that's it, that's your tangent. You can see there off the graph, the slope there is positive, okay, and it's down pretty far under the x-axis, okay, going to the right. So on to part B now, and we need to interpret this pretty carefully. So we, we have this u dash is the derivative of u of x. So using the graph, write down a value where u dash of x is equal to negative. So that's another tangent. So where are the tangents going to be negative? So let's have a look. So on the left, we're going upwards. So therefore, the slopes will be positive. And on the right, we're going downwards. Therefore, the slopes will be negative. So we can choose any value past this point over here, you know. 
so when it's going downward from the top of the graph so let's choose I uh, can choose any number over there well we can choose 8 here just to be confident it's well over on the right so you can see there that is a negative slope okay so it's negative u dash of x all right so a lot of repetition here but it's good we can see clearly what we're doing and on to the last part so what we got to do here is on the diagram above we need to sketch a tangent okay and then from that then we need to get u dash of 4 which is the slope of 4 so we're going to uh, look at the dimensions of the um, the uh, opposite and the adjacent of the triangle after the sketch to get the slope so let's put it all together all right so i'm going to start up here at point four two let's just center at that point and now we're going to go um extend out okay from that okay tangent wise so that means that we're going to extend that graph there okay on both directions and if we extend it upwards it does really go through the actual intersections there so that really helps so now let's look at this formula here this slope is equal to the rise of the run so we could use that um, to get this slope value so the rise is the up is the distance okay upwards here so that's the rise okay so we can see there's two boxes there so we can put two over there okay and that's our rise and you can see the run is going to be lengthways along the horizontal and we can count four boxes there so the rise of the run is the slope two over four and we can simplify that then in our final result of one over two and that's it for the question four i want to thank all my subscribers for joining me today on maths plus and have a look out for the next video which will be coming up very shortly on question five.